Good afternoon and welcome to Station Park for the Sinch League 2 match between Forth Athletic and Stranraer. I'm Lawrence Nelson, beside me on commentary, Mike McLean and your man working the magic behind the camera this afternoon, Colin Ferguson. Mike, it's uh, safe to say it's a bit chilly. It's a little bit hillbilly, yes, uh, but uh, nevertheless, we have quite a, quite a smattering of Stranraer fans out, which is good to see. And uh, hopefully we're going to get a result here, which we don't normally do. Just need to see if we can actually entice the Stranraer fans away from the Brady shop over there. <laughs> uh, that's where they all seem to be gathering. Well, you so nearly didn't make it. Absolutely not. It's hard <laughs> to get away from it. So team lines for this afternoon, starting with the home side for for under manager Ray McKinnon. In goals, number one, Mark McCallum. Two, Roberto Inditi. Three, Thomas Brindley. Five, Matty Allen. Six, Stuart Morrison. Eight, Callum Moore. 9, Josh Skelly, 10, Mark Watley, 14, Seb Ross, 16, Finn Robson, and 19, the skipper, Andy Munro. On the Loons bench today, 11, Kieran Ingalls, 17, Darren Watson, 18, Ryan Patterson, 20, Ewan Mutali, 21 is subkeeper Zach Paris, and 23 is Cameron Ferguson. Mike, do you want to bring us this to line lineup for this yes, afternoon? Yes, unfortunately, I have to tell you about a couple of enforced changes because it looks to you one player back and you get another one out. Unfortunately, we're missing skipper Sean McIntosh this afternoon, and uh, James Dolan is on the bench. So the lineup this afternoon is Lewis Budenikis in goal, Scott Robertson number two, three Cammy Williamson, four Kyle Govan, five Craig Ross, fourteen Dean Hawkshaw, fifteen Ollie McDonald, sixteen and captain Dylan Forrest, eighteen Kyle Fleming. 23, Matty Grant, and 24, Darren Lang. And yes, we do have a bench of sorts. <laughs> Andy Downey, the substitute goalkeeper, <laughs> number one. Josh Walker, number 10. James Dolan, 11. Mackenzie Strachan, 19. And Blair Sneddon, 20. Coming out to the strains of local hero, as always, here at Station Park. Um, one of my favourite grounds. It's, I like it, Mike, because you've got terracing on three sides in a stand. So, yes. you know, a big bit of covered terracing as well. So, plenty of places to, to choose between. Unlike some of the places uh, that we do go to, it actually looks like a football ground, which is always a good sign. True, four-sided stadium. Um, the skipper's there, Andy Munro and Dylan Forrest, of course, for Stranraer, with the referee, forgot to mention the referee for today, is Daniel Graves, who've had him, I think you're there. Matty Allen lifts it forward to Skelly, he hurls it down now. That's well Well, well done by Kyle Government. Here is Skelly again, and that is a decent... Pot shot at goal, quick thinking by Josh Skelly, quick thinking by Luz Budinaukas, sees it safely over the cross. It's an in-swinger into the heart of the box, and that's a goal, very easy goal for Matty Allen, nobody marking him at the back post, eighth minute, four for take the lead. Cross, Rossi's cross, a wee nod on, and Allen is at the back post, and again from the set-piece, Mike, the Russell's down. It's incredible, I mean... That's nice better. Nice ball to Hawkshot. Sends it on across. Here's Ollie McDonald. Williamson to the left of him. He turns, puts it in the box. Lang it takes a header. Robertson's there. He's going to struggle to get that, but Matty Grant does. Oh. And that's way over oh, hit no. by Grant. Exactly where the first goal came from. And it goes to the near post this time. And that could have gone anywhere, to be honest. And uh, for for claim a handball, I mean, to be honest, Finn Robson hit that ball. Midway through the first half of the evening, sun is glinting off the top of the building, it's unbelievable. The sun glinting off the cowshed roof, warrant him breaking quickly. Good foot in there. Here he comes, he's made his way forward, looks it forward to Darren Lang, and here exactly. comes Matty Grant, he'll chase it. Ollie McDonald has a shot, oh, oh and do you know what, that was deflected by Andy Munro and it could have gone anywhere. That fouls are not been given. Robson gets it across, dangerous one. Oh, that's a good save good by Budenaukas. Yeah, good Great reaction, reaction save. save from Bud there. Seb Ross close to making it two for four for. And Swinger in the danger area. Well, Kyle Govan rises. Here's Robson. He'll get it back in. Oh, and he has a go. It opts to have a shot. <coughs> four for claiming that uh, Budenaukas touched that. Well, Andy Monroe claiming it anyway. Decent effort from Finn Robson. And it uh, skates past the post. Another in swinger. Again, right in the danger area. Comes out to Nditi. Tries to get a shot away now. And that's another corner as that drive is hits off a Stranraer shirt on the way out. In comes the corner. Headed out by a four for player, I'm happy to say. Robertson lifts it clear. And that is half time. The referee 
not having any extra this game on a cold afternoon. And the players racing to go off the park. As well, well, they're lucky they can get inside, <laughs> we can't. Uh, we'll sort of threaten the Callum and uh, we've just got to get some shots away and see if we can find a, a real screamer, which you can't get anywhere near. I so mean, half. we're still very much in the game at one nothing, so I'm sure the manager will sort things something out in the second half. Indeed. Half time then at Station Park, Forth Athletic 1. Stranraer will join us for the second half. Here's the corner. I'm not quite sure who's taking it under the lights over there. It was Moore in the first half. That's headed downwards by Munro, who'd come forward. Dealt with comfortably by Lewis Budenaukas from Forfra's point of view. Taken quickly. Hawkshaw. Forrest lifts it into the box. Oh, Matty effort. Grant. Oh, and that uh, brilliant pass. decent effort, yeah. <laughs> Lousy shot, but brilliant. Craig didn't have to actually clear it there. He just did enough to... Now Brindley sends it in, header on, and the header on was on target. For often I've had quite a number of efforts on target this afternoon. Hawk shot, in swinger, and it's cleared easily by the home defence. And um, Williamson in trouble here. He gets a booking for that one. Takes out the forfer player. Game the referee. Another Ooh, player hitting the there. deck from absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's oh, really it. to nobody. Yeah, it's not decisive enough. Ooh, that's a foul. and that's a free kick. As Forrest, at last he's given a free Hawkshaw kick. Hawkshaw rather goes down. I think Forrest and Hawkshaw him. I don't know what he's doing to be honest. Oh, and that's a goal. Oh. Ollie McDonald's shot deflected wickedly. Beats McCallum, Mike. We said it just needed one chance. That's right. And we 60th needed it on minute, target and we got it. That's the chance, Ollie McDonald. Brilliant. And Stranra. Let's be honest. We've said we've been struggling to get any kind of foothold in the game, but it's one all, and well done, Ollie McDonald. Good free kick. Yes, took a deflection, but we've beaten Mark McCallum at last. One all. Andy Monroe. Weighing up his opportunity, sends in DT away on the right. He ain't going to get that, though, I don't did. think. He did, by the way. He did. That was brilliant running by Ndt, And I'll tell you what, Seb Ross wasn't far away with the header. Eyes, and it's cleared by Craig Ross. <coughs> Solid defending that time. Unlucky, Matty. <coughs> now here's Ndt again. Ah, and that's silly. That's silly. That's going to be unlucky. Yeah. And absolutely no need for the Rami of four for players round him, mind absolutely you. Absolutely ridiculous. And it What is Daniel Graves doing here? He's booked Matty Grant. Free kick. Danger for Sonar again. And that is a good free kick. And it's it's met well, but headed too high. Right in front of the ref, yeah. Ian, nothing. Ca Callum Moore stopped him, pulled him back right in front of the ref. Nothing doing from Mr Graves. Here's Seb Ross. Cross goal. Skelly. And that's a bad miss by Josh Skelly. That was a great opportunity. See what he's trying to do, he's trying to loop it over the keeper into the far corner. Yeah, no, uh, Forrest pops it back out to James Dolan on the touchline. Dolan goes round Brindley, sends it into the box. Hawkshaws gets a shot on it, which is blocked, and it's lifted out by Forfer. Here's Again, he's tried to overplay it a bit. DT back to Robson. Robson facing the right direction, lifts it into the box. Head up a Seb Ross, gathered comfortably by Budenaukas. Fleming takes the throw in. Robertson lifts it forward. Darren Lang. Oh, oh Darren Lang taken dreadful. out by Brindley. That should be a card. It is. And it's actually Matty Allen who gets the card. They get it past him first of all and then into the middle. Here comes Hawkshot. Lifts it in. It's headed at the back post and that just goes over the, the woodwork, over the crossbar. And that's get three back, minutes. Boys, get back. Look at this cavalry charge from Forfa. The, 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 three the minutes. In the last minute. Three minutes injury time played. It's not going to be And that's it. Full so. time at Station Park. Oh. And you have to say, Mike, a rare share of the points for Stranraer these days at Forfa. And at the end of the day, you'd have to say a third of the <coughs> share of the points. I'd agree with you. Once we call out the second half, we came out with a bit of belief. Uh, we didn't look too dangerous in the first 15 minutes, but well, that equaliser galvanised us and Rafael Falkert. Uh, 
And at the end of the day, thoroughly deserved a point, a, a, a point we're delighted to get away from Station Park with. Mike, I can't argue with a word you've said there. I, I, I thought we were flat first half, really struggled. The equaliser changed the game, and it was a re real battle from that point on, and we deserved the point. Absolutely. Full time then at Station Park. Forth Athletic 1, Stranraer 1, and Stranraer come away from Forfer with a relatively rare point. Thank you for watching Stranraer FC Live.